My name is Adam Hall, and this is my wife, Faith. Uh, we've been married for five years. We've been coming to Foundations for three of those five years. So we had a whirlwind of a engagement and dating. Like everything was perfect, life was great, really exciting. And then after we got married, I changed jobs. So we were on different shifts. He was working nights and I was working days. We were literally passing each other. High-fiving on the way in and out from yeah. home. So at my job, I had a, a new friend that I heavily relied on to be able to help me out um, when things got hard at work. You know, it started as just being able to talk to him and say, oh man, I had a bad day. Adam and I are fighting because of this or that. It went from just a friendship to, I had emotions for this guy. We started having a, an emotional affair for sure. Um, and then one day, like it just, it just came out and it didn't get to get physical, but had it continued to go, had it been allowed to continue, I think that it would have gotten physical. We're not even a year into the marriage and there's been an affair. You know, oh, the, the marriage vows have already been broken. So why, why stay in this? Why not like go ahead and leave that and start over for a new marriage that you can actually not have an affair with, you know? Adam asked me, let's go to our marriage counselor. I had so much anxiety, like, no, I don't want anybody to know. I want this just to be between you and I, and we can let it go, and we can move on, and it can just stay hidden and stay quiet and stay between you and I. As soon as we got there, like, and just let all of it out, there was so much freedom that came with it. So actually getting to talk to someone for the first time and, like, let out everything that we had been keeping quiet, it was just a weight was lifted. I was at Victory Bible School at the time, um, <clears throat> pursuing a ministry degree. And I, I remember just wanting to escape. Like uh, we were only not even a full year into our marriage and this was already going on. And I was like, no one, not a single soul in the world um, would blame me if I just walked away now. Um, that was my thoughts was I'm just, I'm just gonna walk away and try again. And I remember just thinking I need to stay for chapel today. Um, there's something different and I need to stay. And so I did and we opened up with worship. And so as I'm up there and I'm, you know, worshiping, um, it's, it, I, I just remember falling, not just to my knees, but flat on my face. Um, and there are a few times that I can remember hearing like loud and clear God just speaking to me. And this was one of those. And, and he said, I need you to forgive her. I need you. I need you to go back and I need you um, to forgive her the way that I've forgiven you anytime you've stepped outside of our union. Or I left chapel, I went home, and so I went in, she was still asleep, and I got her ring. And uh, it's like, I don't know where this is gonna lead, but um, I would like to ask you to marry me again, um, this time just me and you. And so little did I know that God was asking me to forgive her um, in preparation for an apology that I would need to have. Because about a year after that incident, um, we had had our, our son Bodhi. Um, we, due to financial issues, had had to move back into my parents' house. My dad was rebuilding part of the house and part of the agreement was that whenever I got off work that I would help him. And so I'm working 12 hour days, coming home and having to work more on a, you know rehabbing this house and then also dealing with a child that's not sleeping through the night and a wife that just seems like a roommate. There was a girl at work that she was having a bad day and just start, I mean, we both just started saying how, how bad life was at the time. And so that at that point, an emotional connection had begun. And from there, it just continued. At the time, working 60 hours a week or more, um, and most of which uh, she was there for. So I was seeing more of her and talking with her more than I was with my own wife. And um, so it just continued to spiral until ours did become physical. And it was literally that day that I came home and she knew something was wrong. And everything inside of me was saying, you have to tell her what happened. And so I did, I laid it all out. It was either that day or the day afterwards. Um, 
I was listening to worship music and a song um, called Yes and Amen came on. And there's a, a, a verse in it that says, all your promises are yes and amen. Um, and I knew that God had ordained our marriage and his promise for our marriage was that it will succeed and that he's got a testimony in our marriage for somebody else. And so it was, it was emotional. It was a very hard road to come out the other end of, but we've been happily married now. We're about to celebrate five years. Yeah. Um, and we have an amazing baby boy uh, that is just the product of what an incredible marriage that we're walking through. Thank you.